The TP door cover is designed to keep rain and snow and high winds out of the TP. The ties all around the door have specific points with which they're tied to secure the door. Here we'll start from the inside of the TP and we will take the tie at the very top of our door cover and slip it underneath the second lacing pin above the door. Pull the lacing pin back just a little bit to give yourself a chance to get the tie underneath the lacing pin. Then reach outside and slide the lacing pin back into its place. Pull the tie through the pin and snug it up to the top of the pin. This way, the top of the door is secured inside the teepee and begins to form a shingling effect for rain and snow to run off the teepee cover onto the door and onto the ground. Tie it securely to the teepee poles on either side. In this case, to the number one pole to the left of the door hole. and on the right hand side to the door pole itself. Now Tie the second tie down to the door pole also. These will remain tied the entire time that your teepee is up. What I'm doing here is providing for a right hand opening door. You can tie it to the left if you want a left hand opening door. Now this is the appearance from the inside of the teepee. You notice at the bottom of the door hole, the teepee door cover goes over the teepee shingling it. On the outside there is a tie and a peg loop on both sides of the door. Since I am designing this as a right hand opening door, I will tie the tie on the left hand side securely to the teepee. This is to make certain that any strong winds will not move the door off the teepee. The ties on the lower left hand corner of the door are tied together now in a square knot and then we'll take a line and tie from that to a peg loop. This secures the lower left hand corner of the door against wind or rain. In Central Oregon most of our weather comes from the south. That's another reason that I'm having a right hand opening door. The left hand side of the door cover is tied down tightly. You will, not, you will need a stick or a pole or something for a door handle. Here I've cut some holes using a drill into a pole and I'm tying the lines through that hole. This is a secure way to keep the door cover attached to your door handle. Notice that the teepee door goes up underneath the teepee cover. In this way, rain and melting snow are shingled off of the teepee onto the door and go all the way to the ground. You can also use a staple as a way to attach the door ties to your door handle.
smooth out the fabric where the teepee door hole and your door cover meet. This accordion style design allows the rain and snow to flow down and away from your teepee door hole. If you're going in and out of the teepee a lot, or it's summer, you may want to simply loosen the top tie, keep the lower two attached, and use your door handle in this fashion. If you're leaving, tie the bottom tie around the second lacing pin. This will secure the door while you're away. Anything will do, and you can be creative here. Sticks, branches, or poles make a beautiful door handle. If you're setting your teepee up only for the summer, you may want to remove the bottom three lacing pins beneath the door. It makes it more convenient if there's a lot of traffic, children, or small pets. 